For 15 months, we've heard and spoken about little other than the COVID-19 pandemic. Frankly, we're tired of it and ready to move on. But we can't just pick up where we left off. The landscape has changed. In the run-up to 2030, we must embrace the new technologies that sit alongside the old. While planning for the digital decade ahead and for skills for industry 2030, we must consider social, economic and climate issues, as well as the ongoing ICT skills shortage and the persistent digital divide. But we also have to recognise the vulnerabilities that have been exposed, especially in the digital space. Just as our reliance on digital technology has become entrenched, Europe is more dependent than ever on technologies and services developed beyond her shores. People and businesses are less digitally engaged than those in competing locations, and this puts our digital sovereignty at risk. From a practical perspective, the European Commission's Digital Compass sets out ambitious targets to overcome these new and old challenges. But the aspirations must be translated into bold, coordinated actions where best practices highlighted and shared among member states. Developing a smart, professional workforce committed to continual improvement underpins the plans for upskilling, improving infrastructure and enabling the digital transformation of business and public services. But too often, great and successful initiatives have been praised, awarded and then forgotten. Scale and sustainability can be built into actions at the design stage and that will ensure that the best and most successful practice is replicated in new locations. So many ideas have been implemented that there can hardly be any that haven't been thought of in one way or another. So I really believe that the final actions concern the professionalizing of IT and raising awareness among young people and career changers about the great opportunities, rewards and fulfillment that come with a career in technology. When IT is finally and fully recognized as a mature, fully fledged profession, its attractiveness will blossom. We must leverage the work that is being done by SEN and professional bodies across Europe and globally in support of this. Then we tell the story.